Hi, this is Marcy of Earth Sky with your moon phases for May 2025. Look for the lit portion of a waxing crescent moon to point to the planet Jupiter on the evening of May 1st. Look for them as soon as darkness falls. Then after darkness falls on May 3rd, look for a waxing crescent moon and Mars buzzing the beehive star cluster. They'll look great in binoculars. The first quarter moon falls on May 4th. First quarter moons rise around noon and set at midnight. Look for it high overhead as darkness falls. A waxing crescent moon will already be gone on the mornings of May 5th and 6th when the Eta Aquarid meteor shower peaks in the morning sky. It favors the southern hemisphere where they can see up to 60 meteors per hour. The moon is farthest from Earth on May 11th. The full flower moon lights up the night sky all night overnight on May 12th, 13th. It's also the last of three most distant full moons or micromoons this year. It'll lie near the red star Antares. The last quarter moon is on May 20th. Last quarter moons rise around midnight and set at noon. Can you spot it high in the sky after sunrise? Then about an hour before sunrise on May 22nd through 24th, look for the waning crescent moon near bright Venus and Saturn. The moon's closest point to the Earth for this month is on May 26th. We'll have the darkest skies for stargazing on the nights around the new moon on May 27th. It's the fourth of five new supermoons in a row for 2025. About 30 minutes after sunset on May 27th and 28th, look for a slender waxing crescent moon with Jupiter nearby. The moon on May 27th is only about one day old. Then on May 30th and 31st, the moon's grand finale is a close pairing with Mars and the twin stars of Gemini, Pollux, and Castor. 